All right, welcome back, guys. It's been 24 hours. We've uh, let our Loctite cure on the upper receiver and upper receiver coupling. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, going to move on with the install. So first things first, uh, we still have our six o'clock set screw down here that's uh, not torqued down. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Put just a little bit of torque on it. it really just needs to be uh, as tight as you can get it with your hands. You don't really have to uh, muscle down on this thing. So that's good. We have no uh, radial play. The spring sleeve still moves freely. And we're good. We're gonna move on with our barrel installation now. So we're gonna take the barrel coupling slide it over the muzzle end of your barrel it's going to encompass the barrel ridge and we're going to make sure that the index mark is lined up with the index pin on your barrel and we're just going to hold that in place i'm going to first put the barrel all the way in make sure it's all the way in index pin is properly seated down into the upper receiver and now we're going to let our barrel nut center itself Keep rested, see it's down in there. Pull back on the spring sleeve and push straight in on the barrel coupling. And there. You see it closes up uh, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna check for uh, tightness. Uh, it's pretty tight right there. Not a whole lot of forward and back or lateral play right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is take the barrel back out and we're going to add our shims from our shim pack now. So I'm gonna start off with just one of these, slide it down from the muzzle end. It's going to sit right there on the, on the face of your barrel extension ridge and your barrel coupling again, it'll come from the muzzle end and it's just gonna encompass both of those. Make sure the index marks lined up properly let your barrel get all the way in. Barrel coupling's rested. Pull back on the spring sleeve again. There we go. Spring sleeve closed fully. I can still rotate it to the lock position. And there might just be the slightest amount of play in it. Uh, you, you gotta also take in consideration uh, the, any play in your vise and your setup. It's just the smallest amount. I think I'm gonna pull that back out, add one more shim to it, and see how that feels. It's all the way in. I'm going to put the barrel coupling back on. Pull back. Push in. And yep. Spring sleeve closed all the way. I can rotate it still 360 degrees, lock position, unlock position. And Barrel solid, guys. I mean, I'm not taking up any play in there. So now, what we're going to do is uh, move further with the barrel installation, and it's time for your wedge. So get your uh, two degree wedge that comes in your kit, and the small tapered end is going to be the side that goes in towards the upper receiver. So big end out, little end in, and slide from the muzzle down into the barrel coupling. I like to uh, keep the slot right there, the 12 o'clock position, just in line with everything else. It's not a requirement. And we're gonna push that as far in by hand as we can. And then you're going to get your one inch tube. Um, you know, we do a lot of these installs, so we have a one inch steel tube here. Um, PVC works. Just anything that can make a good, clean, even contact surface with that wedge. So now, got our tube, and we're just gonna give this a little smack. And then what you can even do after that, 
You want to be sure to do this while your barrel is inside the upper receivers. That way your barrel coupling and everything is, you know, it's staying in alignment. Um, so now I gave it a couple good smacks with it in the vise. I'm going to take this back out now. And I'm actually going to take the barrel off out of the receiver now that we already got it started. And I'm going to put this down on a flat surface. I'm going to pick the tube back up. And I'm just going to give it a few more smacks um, just for my peace of mind. Two is good enough. Not a whole lot of visible difference. Um, it was probably already bottomed out as far as it was going to be. But then reassemble, retest. Spring sleeve still closes, still rotates to locked and unlocked position. And got it unlocked. Still pulls out. We're good to go. Put that back in. Turn it to the lock position because now we're going to put this sucker back in the vise. And we're going to put the wedge cap on. What this is, does is protect your uh, wedge from being interfered with the barrel coupling at all. And And then you, you just want to be sure, I already have this in the lock position, but again, I want to reiterate that you need to make sure that the index marks that correlate with these four outer um, locking studs it needs to be out of alignment so you physically cannot open uh, the Leo and remove the barrel. So, got that in the lock position, physically can't come out. We got our hat on top of our wedge and I'm going to go ahead and thread the barrel coupling straight on now. And another thing to keep in mind is if your barrel coupling bottoms all the way out before you put any torque on it and it comes in contact with the uh, face plate for the Leo takedown, then that might, uh, you know, you're, you're essentially going to crush the face plate while you put torque on your barrel nut so it's it's, it's not going to come apart easily um, it's not the proper way to do it so if that's the case which it is here what you're going to want to do is take some more barrel nut shims from your kit this is actually exactly what these were designed for and make sure the hat's still on there I'm going to take a shim Put it there and that's going to hold off this barrel coupling a little bit or this barrel nut excuse me kind of keep the barrel nut off of your face plate a little bit so that's back on and that looks like a good enough gap i i think i can you know get the 25 foot pounds out of there now and you want to make sure you use an actual torque wrench when you're doing this uh like i said i've, I've done this hundreds of times so I've got a feel for it by this point. But yeah, right around there, 25 foot pounds. And it doesn't look like it's contacting the face of the Leo. So should be able to take this out of the vise and pull back on it and straight out. There you go. And it's just a regular uh, barrel installation after that. Make sure you're back in the upper receiver and you just go on to install your gas block, gas tube, and handguard and compensator of your choice after that.